Howdy Dee, Possum Patty here, and this is my summer junk journal, Sandy Toes and Salted Kisses with the summer diorama on the cover. I'm outside by the garden today and I'm wearing a very special t-shirt. It has a caterpillar and a chrysalis in the shape of a question mark. And then look what it has on the back, a monarch butterfly. Because my project this summer is try to get some milkweed to grow in my yard. Yesterday I took a little nature walk around the yard. Let me show you some highlights from that. And then we're going to go inside and do a little journaling. Just look at this spider web, how it caught little drops of the dew or the sprinkle we had earlier today. And it just looks so shiny like little diamonds in a web. And here's a slug, slowly making its way down this tree stump. And in this pot of petunias, way over there on the side. Look at those two handsome mushrooms over there. And this is a little experiment of mine. I wanted to find some milkweed to put in the yard. And we were going to the store the other day and I noticed some milkweed plants growing alongside of the road in an area that I know is going to get mowed down. So I hopped out of the truck and I tried to dig some up, but I didn't have a very good digging tool. So I don't think I got enough roots, but we shall see what happens. Milkweed number one, a little wilted, but not too bad. Milkweed number two, much taller, a little wilted also. I see a leaf down here is turning yellow. I'll take that off. And milkweed number three looks very, very sad. But I hope I can get at least one of these to grow because then maybe it'll make some seeds and I can plant some more. And I would just love to have some milkweed for the monarch butterflies. And that was my little nature walk around the yard. And for this page in my journal, for today's page, I was thinking about putting this page from a book and it is about the common milkweed, which are the plants that I showed you. I was just looking on the back. I have this over by the milkweed, this creeping myrtle. Anyway, so I was thinking about gluing this down, but maybe it's a little small, so I might have to put something else there. And then I have the life cycle of the monarch butterfly with the female laying the egg and a picture of an egg and then we have the caterpillar just like my shirt and then the caterpillar starts making a chrysalis and here's the chrysalis and I love this little line of jewels across it and then we have, you can see the wings inside the chrysalis. And then the adult is emerging. And in this picture, the adult is pumping fluids into the wings to expand them. And then when it's ready, it flies off. So I might have to put a background on here. I was thinking maybe pink or orange. I'm not sure. And then taking the life cycle and making a little uh, fabric flip, maybe. And then maybe I should put a picture of the ones that I transplanted here somewhere. I can get out my little Miss Ivy and put a little picture of the ones I transplanted. 
So I have some material here. This is some of that scrap. These are quilting strips that I got at a yard sale for practically nothing. And some really pretty ones here. Looking for something that would go with these colors. And I'm not sure if I want orange or yellow, or pink. This is so pretty. Although you're not going to see much of it once I put the pictures on there. But maybe I could leave, like do a little flap as the first one. And then put the pictures underneath. That would be pretty. I kind of like that. Kind of liking that one. I do have some, yeah, I've got so many here. You have pink. And that would be very pretty too. And here's one over here. Let me open this one up. See what this one is. This is very pastel colors. Very pretty. All right, I have too many choices here. So I'm going to have to narrow it down. I'll probably go with my first choice. This orange is so much fun though. Okay, so it's this one or that one. And these greens are lovely too. Look at these colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this printed batik material. Okay, I have to put those away because it's too many choices. Ooh, this one is orange and pink also. Uh-oh, I just found another choice. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look and see what kind of background papers I have. And then I will pick, whoops, this is my lamp. I will pick the best material to go with the background paper. Well, I found this scrap of a pink uh, cardstock, feels like cardstock. And it is at its skinniest point, almost the right size to put on the page. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and utilize this scrap paper so it doesn't go to waste. So I'm going to do some trimming and I'll be right back. Okay, the first step is to glue this uh, book page about the milkweeds down to this beautiful pink background and then I am going to sew the waterfall on piece by piece I think I don't know how else to do it but I'm going to glue the picture to the fabric and then sew the fabric onto the page and then that will, will make it be able to flip up like that and remember I said I wanted to put this flower at the top. Where is it? Here it is. And I cut out the words Life Cycle of a Butterfly from this book, Butterfly Gardens. And this is a scrap of the pink paper from the background. And I kind of like that it's cut uneven like that. And I think I'm going to glue that to the cover like that. So let's see what this is going to look like when I get it all together. So I got to do some gluing and some sewing. So everything is glued down and sewn. And here's my waterfall flip of the life cycle of a butterfly. And mama lays the egg under the leaf. And there's a magnified picture of the egg. And the caterpillar goes munch, munch, munch on the milkweed plant. And then it makes a chrysalis, and there's the chrysalis, and the butterfly is developing, and it emerges. And that's what I hope will happen on my milkweed plants. And that's why I'm putting this in my journal. So maybe you're not interested in doing the life cycle of a butterfly, but you could take this idea with some pictures and some little pieces of material and make your own kind of waterfall flip. Now I'm going to glue this into the journal. 
I'm going to put it right next to the lavender pitcher. And then I'm going to print out a picture of my milkweed and probably put it right there. And somewhere I'm going to do some journaling. I took my little picture from my Miss Ivy, the mini printer, and I stuck it onto the page because it comes with a sticky back, and I just put transplanted milkweed plants, and I've got my waterfall here about the life cycle of the butterfly, and I was just thinking, this page needs one more thing, and what could it be? And I glanced over at my lavender, and I saw my little lavender butterfly over there, so I'm going to see... If I have a butterfly that might go on this page. And here's my, oops, bag of butterflies, which just flew out of the bag. And I do have a pink. I don't know if there's an orange one. Let's see. Nope. Let's see, we got green. Ooh, I used green thread there, so maybe I should put a green one on there. Let's see, light pink, dark pink. Lavender, darker purple, and I think that's it. I think I'm going to go with this really pretty green one. I'm just going to put it right there. Use a little Fabri-Tac for that. Because these aren't sticky, they're just jewels and gems from the Dollar Tree store. They have a flat plastic back. We're going to goop it up and just put it right there. Okay, I'm going to call this page done for today. And I wanted to do some more journaling about the other things that I saw in the yard, but I didn't get to it yet. So, there's always tomorrow. I'm really happy with this flower spread in my journal. And I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling or happy nature journaling. And thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye now.